Hi everyone, my name is Antonio Mendiera and I am a designer and developer for Ortalexis. And uh, well, I'm glad to be presenting this uh, project to you guys today. So go ahead, go to the next screen. All right, so what is our Talixis? Uh, we are a decentralized market platform that will play an important role in the Web3 ecosystem. Its growth benefits every participant in the sense that artists will be able to sell their digital goods directly to manufacturers. And manufacturers will also have a place to trade easily and use digital goods to embed in their products. Uh, the platform's purpose is to create a secure system to verify NFT derivative embedded products. And so why, uh, probably the best question that everyone's asking is why would anyone want an NFT verification platform? And for years, merchants have actually been using stock keeping units uh, or for short SKUs to digitally track their inventory. But the problem with SKUs is that they are tied to a specific merchant instead of an individual product. Uh, so when mismanaged SKUs increase the chances of inaccurate order fulfillment, and when customers want to return a product, it could lead to them returning the wrong product. Um, and for artists, the problem arises when they create a work of digital art. Um, so unless they are protected through copyright, there's really nothing stopping anyone from screenshotting it and posting it as their own. Uh, so our solution uh, is to utilize the Web3 tech stack. And artists are able to bring in their NFTs from any other platform and create derivative tokens for distribution. This allows them to authorize merchants to produce items with their NFTs embedded within them without having the artists give up their original NFT. Uh, for merchants, they are able to buy the derivative tokens and use them to embed in their products. And since tokens have a one-of-a-kind unique ID, they will be able to easily verify whether an item came from their store or some other place when uh, consumers decide they want to return the product. Uh, using our exclusive de techniques, we are able to scale derivative products uniqueness. And as an added benefit, consumers who purchase the product from a merchant will be able to check the source of the NFT to verify if it is from an original designer or original merchant who produced it. So the key aspects to understand in our platform are derivative tokens, production contracts, and derivative products. Uh, derivative tokens is a currency minted by each NFT owner, and it is based on the EIP-1155 protocol and directly interacts with any NFT token. And people can use it for any trading purpose. Production contracts are smart contracts deployed within a supported interface to provide an auditable circumstance for a uh, transaction process. And NFT owners and producers will use the production contracts from our Talixies and deploy it uh, to their blockchain themselves. Um, and derivative products are products that the merchants can produce. Uh, and can be purchased by users. An NFT derivative product has the feature of being able to verify a signature from the original NFT embedded within it. So for example, assume that we have a t-shirt that has an image, and if the image is an NFT, the t-shirt is going to be an NFT derivative product. And nowadays, NFTs are recognized primarily as artwork, but the question is, what if we could use it for something else? Uh, so the user flow for the platform is that the artist comes to our Talixies looking to mint their NFTs into a derivative token. And then they would use that token to create a production contract. Uh, after they're done making the production contract, they would then wait for a merchant to complete the contract. Meanwhile, uh, a merchant would log into um, Artalexis looking for artwork for their products. 
and they will browse through all of the NFTs and they, until they find one that they like. They then connect their wallets and use their cryptocurrencies to create derivative tokens that they will then use to pay for a production contract. And when both parties agree to fulfill the contract, the artist earns revenue for their artwork and the merchant now has permission to use the NFT for distribution. Now, for you guys to have a better idea of, um, of what our platform is, uh, I would like to clarify any confusion and say that our Talixies is not like OpenSea. Uh, OpenSea is a marketplace for trading NFT items between users, and I'm here to assure you that we are a marketplace only used for derivatives. So that way we provide artists with a uh, secure protection and a way to directly connect with merchants. And an artist can earn profit by selling permissions to produce NFT products, while merchants earn profits by selling their licensed products to NFT enthusiasts. And if you really wanted to draw a comparison, we would probably be a mix between Teespring, OpenSea, and Shopify, considering that Teespring um, provides merchants with already existing designs that they can embed within their graphics. And the reason why we also compare ourselves with OpenSea is because, well, that's probably the most um, recognized place for people to get NFTs in general. Uh, the next step is to show you how we plan to earn revenue. And there are actually many different revenue streams throughout the platform, such as online auction market, um, our online painting toolkit, and sales of art relating to our products. Uh, we also have an art counterfeiting ID service, uh, as long as many other services within our platform. So the next step is to actually show you the platform. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the link here. This is our alpha version. Let's go ahead and select one of the NFTs. And let's create a derivative token. Now, this may take a while. Uh, okay. And as you can see, we have created a derivative token. All right. So let's go back to the slideshow. Now, I do want to point out that of course I was not the only person on this team. Uh, I wanna give credit to Jailin Lee, uh, Wenji Ye, Sihao Yang, and Junyi Ye. Uh, all participated in coding and development as well as planning for this project. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, Antonio. Uh, just a bit under 10 minutes. So let's proceed with the Q&A uh, session. Any questions? Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead.
Oh, can, can you elaborate on how the derivative tokens are linked to the NFT itself? Um, sure. Actually, uh, Helen, could you help me out with this one? So we just only need to um, mean the derivative, uh, derivative token uh, with with the um, NFT token from uh, any other smart uh, smart contracts. Then yeah, the derivative co uh, token will be created in our smart contract. Yeah, I think the question is more. I'm not sure whether the other judges has understand, uh, but I need some clarification on, on the product actually build up. So to me, it looks like you are build up a, a marketplace, which you link the uh, creators or the artists with the, I mean, uh, merchant, merchants who need these kind of NFT for their advertising or marketing, these kind of, kind of things, right? Actually, you build up platform for them to 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 give them the, the marketplace to to let them negotiate and to come to to the contrast to 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 say that I will pay you the the, the NFT creation fee and you get it is it the product what you are look, uh, build it, uh, build up so what what we're building here is um, not actually NFT trading but more like NFT uh, derivative token creation and exactly the the difference there is that the artists get to keep their original uh, uh, NFT artwork but uh, essentially what the derivative token is is uh, granting merchants permission um, to to use their artwork uh, within their products So is is um is a derivative derivative token has the kind of like a maximum size or can you just create more deri derivative tokens or whatever you want? It depends on the NFT owner, and the so, NFT so, owner. so it is uh, you, you can just create more derivative tokens. So it's it's kind of like um it's like kind of like a permission. Yeah, it's got a permission. It's also it's a cur uh currency for the uh, representing the value of the nft but uh, but the derivative token itself uh, represents like um kind of like um, the right to use this uh, kind of intellectual property uh, as an nft but it's uh, it's not backed by the i mean i guess it's kind of backed by the value of the nft Um, yeah, I mean, um, so yeah. I, I guess if, if I give this scenario where like one person has an NFT itself and uh, the other person has all of the derivative tokens, and uh, what does that imply in terms of the ownership of the NFT? Um, Chris, could you say that again? Sorry about that. If, uh, if like one party owns the NFT itself, the other party owns all of the der derivative tokens, so what does that imply um, about the ownership of this specific NFT? So uh, the specific uh, NFT, the ownership is never, never lost from the owner. We just created the token be, uh, beyond that NFT. And uh, the derivative token is called, uh, just called represent the value for the for this uh, NFT and, uh, but um, derivative token are created by the owner, so it mean um, original ownership or belong the owner, but uh, when when owner wanna wanna uh, use this token to do any any trading purposes and yeah. And maybe owner will able to buy a part, uh, another party to receive this this token and and yeah, 
maybe that they will create a the well uh, increase the value for for the derivative tokens.